Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Since the United States began to implement policies to suppress Chinese technology companies, restrictions in the semiconductor field have attracted widespread attention. Recently, the American media, Wall Street Journal speculated that Chinese companies no longer purchase some American chip products and instead purchase domestic models, with Huawei particularly benefiting. This news attracted media attention at the Ministry of Commerce press conference. CNBC reporters asked the Ministry of Commerce questions, hoping that China could confirm the situation and asked for its views on the future development of domestic chips. The Ministry of Commerce responded to this, emphasizing that it recommended that the U.S. media seek information from the company about the specific situation, and stated that if such a situation does exist, the reasons are not complicated. China opposes the actions of countries that interfere with normal trade in semiconductors and disrupt normal exchanges and cooperation between enterprises. As the world's major semiconductor market, China welcomes the entry of semiconductor companies and products from all countries. This statement shows that China is willing to maintain an open and cooperative attitude, and the restrictions on China's behavior mainly come from individual countries although they did not specify which country. Will Huawei replace NVIDIA? 1. The rise of Huawei's domestic chips According to U.S. media reports, due to the United States' restrictions on China's chip purchases, many large Chinese companies have begun to turn to domestic model brands such as Huawei. This is not surprising because it is a normal choice for Chinese companies to purchase domestic chips. Take Huawei as an example. Faced with pressure from the United States, Huawei independently developed the Kirin series of chips, which are not only used in its own mobile phones, but also began to actively sell chips to other mobile phone brands. Huawei's technical strength and market competitiveness are getting stronger and stronger, which is also a reasonable move for Chinese companies to choose domestic chips. 2. NVIDIA's Difficulties and Challenges However, for the American chip giant NVIDIA, the Chinese market is a much-needed opportunity. However, due to the restrictions of U.S. policies, NVIDIA had to settle for the next best thing and launched a low-end version solution in the hope of retaining Chinese customers. It is said that this solution reduces the performance of the chip, but does not reduce the price. Obviously, it is difficult for such a solution to attract the interest of Chinese companies. 3. The Rise of Chinese Technology China does not have a boycott attitude towards other countries, but rather opposes restrictions on China's state behavior. In fact, China is developing rapidly in the field of science and technology and has achieved many achievements. Chinese companies are actively developing independent chips. Not only Huawei, but also other companies are also making continuous efforts, including ZTE, Unisoc, etc. Domestic chips are increasingly recognized in the Chinese market. This is not only a manifestation of China's technological progress, but also the market's support for local products. The Folly of American Restrictions 1. Example of ASML lithography machine The United States tried to restrict China's chip production capacity by restricting the export of photolithography machines, but the results were counterproductive. 
When faced with U.S. restrictions, ASML publicly announced that it had delivered relevant models of lithography machines to Chinese customers. This action once again proves that U.S. restrictions can be counterproductive. In order to safeguard their own interests, companies are unwilling to give up hard-won markets, especially a huge market like China. For restricted industries, losing the Chinese market would mean huge losses. 2. Restrictive behavior will reap the consequences. The United States restricts the development of China's semiconductor industry, thinking that this can contain the progress of China's industrial system. However, the reality is the opposite. China has strong momentum in technological innovation and R&D capabilities. Through independent research and development and the introduction of advanced technology, China's chip industry continues to improve its strength. Restrictions will only stimulate the motivation and innovation capabilities of Chinese technology companies. At the same time, restricting China's semiconductor industry will also cause U.S. companies to lose market share and business opportunities, which is undoubtedly a self-resulting result. The phenomenon that Chinese companies no longer purchase U.S. chip products and instead purchase domestic chips has aroused speculation in the U.S. media. However, this is not China's resistance to anyone, but a response to individual countries' restrictive behavior against China. The Ministry of Commerce's statement shows that China maintains an open and cooperative attitude, emphasizing that semiconductor companies and products from all countries are welcome to enter the Chinese market. The development momentum of China's technology industry is strong, and chips independently developed by Chinese companies are increasingly recognized by the market. At the same time, the restrictive behavior of the United States is counterproductive. It not only fails to limit China's scientific and technological progress, but also causes losses to its own interests. In general, the United States' restriction on China's chip procurement is short-sighted and stupid. It has not hindered the development of China's technology industry, but has promoted the rise of Chinese companies and domestic chips. Chinese technology companies have made major breakthroughs in independent innovation and technology introduction and are capable of meeting the needs of the local market. It is a reasonable choice for Chinese companies to choose domestic chips. They pay more attention to protecting their own interests and inject new impetus into the development of China's technology industry. The United States' restrictive behavior will not only fail to stop the rise of China's technology industry, but will also cause losses to its own interests. Chinese companies choose domestic chips out of the protection of their own interests and confidence in local technology. This is also a normal manifestation of market supply and demand. As China's technology industry continues to develop, China has reason to believe that China's chip industry will continue to achieve more brilliant achievements.